Okay. None other than Mike Passanier, patriarch of Mike's gym. Mike, how are you, sir? I'm okay, thank you very much. Yeah, welcome to England. Okay, thank so, you. So, you've got a Manhoff fight coming up? Yes, next week. Fighting Tim Kennedy in Strike Force? Yes. And that's at middleweight? That's middleweight, yes. Correct. So, is, is Melvin going to be focusing on MMA more than kickboxing now? Well, we, we said every year we're going to focus more on MMA, but then he gets some kickboxing match. And then uh, after the matches, then, uh, well, we, we were losing it again, you know. So, but Melvin is still excited fighting no matter what he's doing, if he's on uh, on kickboxing or MMA. Yeah, the most exciting. I think so. None better. <laughs> um, do you think Do you think there's a chance for he'll defend his its Showtime title at 85 max at any point in the future? Yeah, well, but there are. Hardly no opponents who wants to fight Melvin. Yeah. There are opponents, but then they, they don't want to fight Melvin. They want to fight. So I, I, I don't know, you know. Uh, he wants to keep the title really bad, but mm. if there are no opponents, you know, when he didn't defend it for one year, yeah. we're going to lose it automatically. Yeah. Same so. as Tyrone Spong. Yes, yes, it's the same. Yeah. Is that an option, though? Because uh, now that the 95 Max title's vacant, um, yeah. could. Could Melvin be fighting for the 95 Max title? Go up away. Well, could be, but I made an appointment with uh, Simon Rutz because I have another fighter as well uh, by the name of Nenad Pagonis. Yeah. He was fighting Showtime in uh, Greece and at Athens, and he was uh, and he got a chance to fight for the 95 kilo belt. So I cannot put one of my fighters against one of the other fighters. Yeah. No, that would be uh, yeah. fair but, enough. Where should I be? <laughs> yeah, one other Manhoff fight I'd like to see. Is there a chance for he'll uh, rematch with Stefan Leko in its showtime? Could be, but I heard Stefan Leko pronounce his uh, retirement. No. After his last fight, he was very disappointed. He oh. said, I stop it on the spot right now. But, you know, you never know. It's fighting and it's fighting. Everybody yeah. retires, coming back. And yeah. Forward. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'm, not, I'm, I'm never sure of nothing. Is this an exclusive? <laughs> Stefan Leko has retired? Yes, that's, well, it's not an exclusive. That's, that's, that's what he said. That's what he said. So, mm. it was, it, it, those were his words. I stopped, I quit fighting. So, so that dis- means that he's retired. Disappointing. But you know what would be a good fight? What's that? Melvin against Anderson Silva. <laughs> I'd love to see it. In K1 rules. No, it doesn't have to be, because, uh, listen, the thing is, Anderson Silva is also a very good kickboxer. Yeah. Yes. Melvin also. So it would be a stand-up match. Yeah, and that's, absolutely. That's, there are many stand-up matches in, uh, in, 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 in the US. You know, most of the time they go to the ground, stuff like that. Listen, it's also very exciting. It's not stand up, and people, in my opinion, always come for the knockout. Yeah, not for the armbar. <laughs> Especially not Melvin. <laughs> no, no, Melvin is also not going for the armbar. No. Oh, get Melvin to call Leko out again. He yeah. can't retire on that note. Let's have Manhoff versus Leko too. Well, okay. That's a fight we want to see. Well, listen, I hope well, for us it's no problem. Mm. Melvin is ready, but I, I don't know if Leko. Yeah. Melvin versus Leko for the 95 Max title. That'd be great. Can be. But like I said, Nenad Pagonis is fighting uh, the winner, winner of Ray, winner of Rocher and the German guy. And they're both fighting for, yeah. the, for the titles. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. It's also going to be a very promising fighter, Nenad Pagonis. Mm. I'll bookmark him. Okay. Yeah, one of, one I've of got another good one for you. Who's that? The one to, uh, to look at. Within one and a half years, it's Sergei Lyshenko. He's a Russian guy. Kishenko? Lyshenko. Oh, Lyshenko. He's a friend of Kishenko. They're both training in my team. Oh, really? I'll look out for him. And speaking of fighters that train in your gym, what about the bad boy? <laughs> Come on, the crazy rumours recently. One, one minute he's dead, the next thing is in jail, the next thing is on the run, no, no, the next no, thing no, is no. dead again. Listen, listen, no, 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 listen. Monday we did a television appearance. It was very positive. Everybody is in a good mood. We start training again. Well, for one and a half months now, hmm. you know. And, 
well, he's very excited to fight. He's fighting May 14 in Lyon, France. Yeah. Uh, opponent, I don't know, I hear Tony Gregory, but I'm not sure, you know, that changes every day, almost. Yeah. But oh, he'll thing, destroy Tony Gregory. One, one thing is in changing, it, it is that Butter's going to be there 100% fit. Hmm. Well, fitter than before, stronger than before, and more focused than before. Yeah. And that means trouble. Does Butter spar with that man, <laughs> Mr. Daly? No, but Melvin does. Does he? Melvin, Melvin spars with uh, Paul. Kick Paul. My ass. <laughs> Paul, did you spar with Melvin for this fight? Uh, I was there, but, but I was there before the fight was announced. So yeah, Melvin wasn't training for the fight then. But I'm sure if I was there, I'd be sparring with him. Yeah. Have you ever been unable to walk after sparring with Melvin? Yeah, I remember one time at the old Mike's gym before, <laughs> before uh, we were sparring, and then he. Front kicked me in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I was watching how you was breathing. So then when you breathed out, then I kicked you and I was fucked. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but he's trying to teach me something. He's always trying to teach me, but he has to hurt me to teach me. <laughs> yeah. You know what I can't wait for? Melvin Manhoff with great Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's coming. It's training. Can you imagine that monster? It's coming. It's coming. I know Melvin's training uh, very hard and everything. I know he's concentrating on his wrestling and his jiu jitsu. But, you know, Melvin's a striker, so that's the main thing. He has to go and just do his thing. Melvin's the striker. The number one. The number one. <laughs> Still, you're not so bad on your feet yourself, Paul. Trying, mate. Trying. Be beautiful left hook you landed on Smith. Yes. Trying. 20, 26 wins, 22 knockouts is not too bad. Can't knock it. So, Try, mate. It's a great finishing rate. So I'll, I'll wrap this up now, Mike. Okay, so, cool. Bada Harry, he's back. Sure, 100%. Okay, there's, there's been rumours floating around that he might be facing uh, Daniel Gita, but Gita's been put up against Hesti Gurgis, so is that Yo, fight on the back burner? Hesti Gurgis is uh, released out of jail and he's fighting uh, for the championship belt. So, but when he was in jail, they asked if he want to fight, and then Butter said, I want to fight, but I want to have Mike back in my corner, if it's possible, because Melvin is fighting March 5th in America, so it wouldn't be uh, possible to be at the same time in two different parts of the world. It's only one Mike in so many parts. Okay. <laughs> Okay, which Mike's gym fighter is going to be the first to get back on top of the mountain? Melvin, Paul, Bader, Myrtel Gronhart. Uh, listen, uh, Myrtle is, uh, is, a, is a coming man. He's very young. He's very, uh, how do you say, he wants to learn a lot. And uh, he's, he's one of the fighters for the future. I always tell him, listen, he has to be patient. He has to be patient. If he, if he, if he finds his patience, it's going to be okay. Oh, he's still young. Well, Bader, uh, he stepped off at, uh, at the highest level, but this year at the K1, to be honest, you know... You think he'd have walked through you, you, No, no, everybody missed him. Yeah. You know... Do you think he'd have easily won this year's Grand Prix? Well, it's never easy. But I, I, I tell you this, um, listen, it's like this, you know, you have a good, you have a good dinner without any salt. You know, you miss yeah. the spice. <laughs> <laughs> and bad as the salt. Yes, yeah. Bad as the spice. He's, he's more than salt. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you and what, Mike, right? I, I kind of criticised him after the uh, 2008 World Grand Prix in an article. Because uh, I kind of stopped being his... <laughs> I kind of stopped being his fan a little bit when he stomped on Remy. So if I ever interview him, can you convince him to not beat me up? Uh, he, doesn't Do be, he doesn't beat people up who doesn't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you think you deserve it... <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I'll, listen, I'll interview listen. him with a few security yeah, in the way. Good, no problem. No, 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 <laughs> listen. Yeah, you can criticise him, you can do whatever you want. He, he, he doesn't care, he's just a sportsman and he wants to be reminded. Because he made a few mistakes, like kicking Hesti and um, kicking uh, Remy, but it doesn't mean he showed us wonderful things. He does things other fighters doesn't do. Yeah. I understand. And, and that, that and sometimes they went out of lines. Sidon 
headbutted the guy, Kanduna fly kicked into the audience. <laughs> you know, but these are the good guys. Uh, and the other one, Melvin Manuf. Well, listen, Melvin, the thing with Melvin is uh, he has two bad fights in his career. He was once again, Sagi was not a good fight in the arena. Yeah. But Sagi is a good fighter. And one against Gegard Musashi. Yeah. Because if you, yeah. if, you, if you let somebody else, if somebody else lets Melvin unable to punch for one and a half or two minutes, then, you know, you have to give the credit to them. You know? Yeah. So, but, but, but on the other side, listen, anyone who fought Melvin, he's got his ass kicked. And after that, armbar him. Okay, big yeah, deal. Absolutely, absolutely. In MMA, certainly, yeah. Big deal. And in K1, he's undersized. He's only a listen, you know middleweight or light has, heavyweight. And he and, and listen, and he's fighting everybody. He's, he fought Mark Hunt. You know, you have to see. Uh, uh, Melvin was 88 kilos. Mark Hunt 130 kilos. Knocked him out in about 15 out, seconds. Yes. Uh, he, he, he fought guys 120 kilos, he fought guys 105 kilos. He doesn't care, he's just fighting. If he says, Mike, if you think I can fight him, eh. <laughs> okay. uh, you know, he's fighting everybody. He doesn't care. He said, Mike, if you want me to fight him, I'll fight him. No problem. Yeah. But we only got. Uh, how come? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I go. Pull up, Paul. Okay, give you a call. Okay, see you soon. Well, listen, and it's also about this weight problem. I always tell him, listen, it's like this if we're standing in a bar. And this guy harasses your wife. What are you going to do? You're going to say, no, honey, he's two kilos too heavy. I cannot fight him. No, you kick the shit out of him. <laughs> that, that's what you do. That's what the fighter does. Yeah. Bushido. Yes. And so, and that, that's what Melvin is all about. And they can say, okay, listen, he doesn't have a good ground game. Okay, sometimes he isn't. But he is that explosive. He kicked Paulo Filho 25 punches in a row. <laughs> How many times did you see that? Yeah. You know, and then... And Filho was one of the best in the world in and, Brazilian yes, Jiu-Jitsu. And he just... And, he just, and, and one, or two, one or two times, the, uh, the referee could have, could have stopped the fight, but he didn't because Filho was falling yeah. back. And, um, you know, it's, and there, there are a lot of guys. Uh, uh, Robbie Fowler, Lawler. Yeah. You know, he kicked Luck. him through the whole arena. He didn't stand yeah. a chance. Lucky. That was a lucky yes. KO. And then he, he got KO'd. And then, you know, I asked I ask him, listen, you want to have a rematch? He said, no, I'm not going to fight this animal ever again in my life. <laughs> because he, have you seen him walk after the fight? He, he probably straight, couldn't. <laughs> he, would have, he went straight to his bed. We didn't see him for three days. <laughs> understand so that's and then they say yeah well Melvin is losing what is losing listen I don't think in a certain way it's not about winning or losing anymore it's about pleasing the audience and Melvin no. certainly does that yes you come you get the show you know you get the the, the entrance you get the, uh, you get the fight ex excited fight and then wh whoever wins wins yes I think we'll wrap it up. Yeah, you should be Paul screaming Davis. like that in the Paul sauna, Davis man. <laughs> that, that, that's what you should do. Come, Mike, we go to the sauna. <laughs> hey, come in, right, come in. Right. We'll wrap it up. Thank you very much for the interview, Mike. No problem. Yeah. Nice yeah. to do it. Thank you. Good. The Fletch exclusive. Oh. Can you send me a copy of this? MMAjapan.com, team takeover, low kick. Mike Passanier, Mike's gym, the man. Us.